Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our at home exercise session um, during self isolation. We want to do some yoga again today, and I'm going to take you through the poses. And let's see if it's a bit ch more challenging. If it's too difficult, I just want you to do what you can do. Um, and I will try and demonstrate the exercises beforehand so you can watch them and then we can do them together. We're going to start off with some salutations, which you probably know by now if you followed all the other um, exercises. <clears throat> so we'll go through that a bit quicker. So we're going to start just with standing while get grounded, keep your feet plain on the floors, um, spread out your toes, distribute your weight equally. <clears throat> Stand upright, chest open, shoulders back, and elevate your head upwards. Really make yourself as tall as you can. Keep some tension in your glutes and some in your tummy. And then from there, we're going to just focus on the breathing. Look straight ahead, breathe in through the nose and out. And again in. And now, we're going to breathe in, and while we breathe out, we're going to bring the hands together. Really push the palms together with strength. Then breathe in, bringing the arms up, and breathe out, folding forward. The hands towards the floor. Breathe in, and step back with your right leg. Again, make sure the Ankle is underneath the knee. It's trying to extend through your back so your back is as nice and straight as possible. And you stretch out your right hip. From there, we're going to hold our breath and step back with the left leg. And then we bring the knees, the chest, the chin down. And freezing while we come up into cobra. From there, you're going to fold the toes round. You're going to push up into downward dog. And again, you're going to make sure you're going to push your weight onto your legs. So you really push your weight towards your heels. That means your shoulders have to come back towards, your shoulders come back towards your knees and your bottom really sticks up in the air. This will help you to and erect your spine more to get more extension into your spine and helps to stretch the calves better and the hamstrings. From there, we breathe in and step forward with the right leg. Bring the knee down on the floor again, extend through the spine, fold your toes round, bring the left leg towards the right and straighten your knees, push the weight into your heels. Bring the tummy in, bring the arms forward and come up into standing position and then stretch back and breathe out while you bring the arms down. We're going to do the same with the left leg. So breathe in, breathe out, hands together. Breathe in, bring the arms up and extend through the back. Breathe out, coming forward and down. Going to step back with the left leg. So breathe in, hold your breath, bringing both legs out. Breathe out while you bring the knees and the chest and the feet to the floor. Breathe in, extending your back. Breathe out, sticking your bottom in the air. And then breathe in, stepping forward with the left leg. Extending through the spine. Breathe out, bring the right leg forward, folding downwards. And then push into the ears, pull the tummy in. Come in the standing position while you're breathing. And then bring the arms down. So, from here, we're going to start today with the shoulder stand. Shoulder stand is a bit difficult. But I think it's a really good exercise to get your energy flow going. I'm going to show you once how to do that. Um, 
during the whole time, your neck needs to be really relaxed. So you're gonna um, lean back, bring legs into the air, and then hold them up here while you're supporting your lower back with your arms. This looks a bit daunting and it can be difficult, but I just want you to try. If you find it's too much pressure on your neck, you need to think, how do I hold my head? Is that actually causing me discomfort? Can I straighten it out a bit better? And just see if you can adjust it. If you can't get comfortable, I want you to just bring your legs up, hold them up in the air, work your feet, or work the tummy muscles by moving your legs. Yeah. But give it a try. So once we are in the shoulder stand, I want to show you a few more things that we're going to do. So we're going to come up into shoulder stand, we're going to hold this position for a bit, and then we're just going to bring one leg back and the other leg back, or we can just bring the knees down. Yeah. And in this position, you can also adjust your elbows a bit better. And if you can, you're going to bring your legs down all this way. So, going to do it together. So, you're going to lie back and bring your um, legs into the air. And try and straighten out your legs. So, you really activate your glutes. You activate your tummy muscles and you let all this fluid in your legs drain downwards. And hold the position, focus on your breathing. See if you can enjoy being in that position. See how the legs are getting light. And then I want you to just bend your right knee slightly and bring it back up and bend your left knee slightly and bring it back up and goes and back up. And then we're going to do it with a straight leg. Straight leg behind you, bring it back up and the other leg. And back up, and we're going to bring both legs behind you. See if you can touch the floor. If you don't, just stay where you, as far as you can, and where you're comfortable. Make sure that your neck doesn't carry any tension. That your head is really nice and relaxed on the floor. If you can, see if you can touch the floor with your toes. Bring the knees next to your ears if that is possible. And then from there, <coughs> bring the legs together and slowly roll your bottom down towards the floor and come back up into sitting position. <coughs> from here, we're going to lie back down. We bring the feet towards our hands and we're going to bring the bottom up and bring the hands and the knees together. So you're really extending your back. Hold this position. Push your shoulders down into the floor. Squeeze your bottom tight and come up as much as you can. And then slowly come down. And I'm going to do it, demonstrate the fish so you can see. So watch first. You're going to bring your hands underneath your sacrum. Yeah. And you can do that by lying down and just lifting up, coming like this. And then you're going to lean onto your elbows. You're going to bring your elbows underneath your torso. And then you're going to extend through your spine by bringing the head back. So you 
pages of backwards until your head touches the screen. So we're going to do that together. So hands go underneath your sacrum, elbows go down onto the floor, underneath your torso, and your head moves back, and you really extend into your upper thoracic spine. So you really get a nice stretch there. Breathe into it, slowly in and slowly out. Few more breaths. And then we slowly come out of this position by bringing the hands down towards the side. From here, we're going to sit nice and upright. Knees are straight, toes coming up towards us. If it's difficult to be straight and you, your body forces you to be in this position, slumped over, I want you to try and sit on something so it's a bit easier because then your hamstrings are not so overstretched. And from here, I just want you to push the knees down and be as upright as you can. Imagine something kind of pulls you up here so your whole spine is as elongated as it can be. You tuck your chin in slightly. Keep your back straight, really extend it. And then really sit yourself down on the floor. So the sitting bones are really grounded. You're really working your back extensors. You're pulling your tummy in. You pull you in your pelvic floor. Keep the toes up. Keep the knees down. Hold this position. Focus on your breathing. Slowly in and slowly out. And then from there, we're going to stretch forward. So see if you can hold on to your toes and really hold that stretch. See if you can get your head down towards your knees. Bring your arms down towards the legs. And slowly come back up into this really nice upright position. So. If you are sitting on pillows, I want you to remove those. Bend the knees. And I'm going to show you quickly what we're going to do. So just demonstrating it. So your back is nice and upright. You're leaning back with a really upright back. So don't start to slouch. Keep the shoulders down. Bring the shoulders like back and downwards towards your lower back. And you're going to hold the legs. So, and then from there, we're going to bring the legs out, we're going to bring the arms out, but we're going to do that together. So, together. So, nice and upright, really extends nicely through your spine. Keep your head up as high as you can, chin is tucked in. So your back is in a really nice position. Hold on to your legs behind your knees, and then rock back so that you have to activate your tummy muscles. You bring your legs off the floor, and your back stays nice and straight. And you're going to hold this. And if you have a nice balance and you feel you can let go, bring the arms towards the side and just hold them here. Good. And then from here, we're going to bring one leg out. We're going to bring it in and we bring the other leg out. Bend in and change again. Bring the leg in. And change the legs. Keep your back nice and straight. Keep your chin as tucked in as possible. Focus on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good. And now we're going to try both legs. And bring them back in. And one more time. Both legs. And in. And all good things are three. So, out and back in, and then slowly come down. So stretch the legs out, fold forward, and really bend your foot forward, stretch down too. Going to bring the legs apart, 
and stretch the inside of our thighs. See, bring your hands towards the front. And again, with a really straight back, see if you can walk forwards to really stretch your hip adductors. Keep the toes up, facing towards the ceiling, push the knees down. If that is too difficult, you can keep your knees slightly bent or you bring the legs closer together. And really make sure your shoulders are down, chin is tucked in, your back is nice and straight. Bring the feet together, pull them towards you, push the knees down, and bring your shoulders back and down and really straighten your spine. Be as tall as you can. So we're gonna um, so we're gonna bring the left leg next to the right knee. If you want, you can bend that leg. And I want you to put the right hand behind you. And by doing this, can you see what happens? You're really extending your spine. So you're not slouching, you're really extending your spine nice and tall. And this right arm is helping you with that. And then you're gonna bring the left elbow onto your left knee, and you're gonna push yourself to, into your right rotation. So if you find that your hand is not, your right hand isn't far enough back, you can adjust it. So really stay nice and tall, get that hand pushing into nice extension, and then look over your right shoulder. Hold that position, and while you breathe out, see if you can go a tiny bit further. Then you do two more breaths. And again, in and out. And then slowly come back. And we're going to change sides, stretch the legs out first. So we're going to bring the right leg next to the left knee. If you want, you can bend this left leg. Or you can keep it straight. And then bring your left hand behind you and push yourself into a nice extension. So you really erect your posture. The upper body is nice and straight. You still imagine something pulls you on your head. So as if you really try to get as much space in there as you can. The left, the right elbow goes to the left knee and we're gonna push ourselves into left rotation. If you really feel the twist in your spine, Look over your left shoulder to make sure you're nice and upright. And if you want to adjust your left hand and bring it further back, you can be nice and stretch the spine. And then from here, I'm going to get you to breathe in and out. And while you breathe out, see if you can go further into the stretch. And we're going to do that two more times. In and out. And again, in and out, and then slowly come back. We're going to lie on our tummy. So I'll quickly demonstrate what we're going to do. So first we're going to lie down, bring the right and the left arm up, bring it down, then the other side. So it's not right and left arm, it's right arm, left leg, and then we change sides. We then do both arms, both legs, and at the end, I want you to get to your feet, and we're really going to try and extend the whole back. So we're going to start together. Step it down towards the floor, so you're not overstretching your neck. And we're going to start right arm, left leg coming up and holding. Focus on your breathing and down and we change sides. Come up, left arm, right leg, hold five seconds. 
three, four, five, and down. And we're going to change sides. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And change sides again. Left arm, right leg. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And we're going to bring both arms for this next one. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Going to do that three more times. Legs up, arms up. And I want you to make sure that your shoulders are not next to your ears, but that they're coming down as much as you can get them down. So you're pushing your shoulders back and down. Good. Two more seconds. And down. And two more times. So legs up, arms up. Body is position. Three, four, five. And down. And last time we're going to see if we can hold it for ten. Legs up, arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Short break. Look at your back a bit. Bring the legs up. And we're going to hold on to our feet. And from here, I want you to, from here, I want you to bring your knees up and your chest as much as you can. So you're going to really come up here. Extending through your spine, stretching your quads, and working on your posture. Focus on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. This is you can go a tiny bit more. Five more seconds. Three, four, five, and down. And shake the legs out, shake the body out. And we're going to come up and just stand. So. From here, we're going to step forward. This is right leg. Right leg points forward. Left leg is at a 45 degree angle to it. And we're going to bring both arms up. And I get you to really sit down into this right leg. So that really put your weight into the right leg. Make sure the ankle is below the knee and not in front. <clears throat> and you're looking over your uh, front leg. So bring the arms up. Hold this position to so now only five seconds. Focus on your breathing. Slowly in, slowly out. Then bring the arms down and rotate and hold that position. And we're going to lean down onto our elbows, bringing the right arm up. Stretching out. Feel the open near this left side. And then coming up and stretching back. So you're going to bring this arm up towards the ceiling. You look at your hand and you still sit nicely in between your legs. And you come forward again, stretch out, and back in your time. Good. Back to the middle. We're going to come to get feet together and we're changing sides. So, right foot points, left foot points forward. Our torso points over our front leg. Arms come up with the same. And we're holding that position. Mm 
the arms to the side and left hand comes over your left knee. Hold this, hold this, so look over your middle finger of the left hand and really work your legs when you are in this position. So we're going to lean forward onto our left elbow, stretch out our left side, our right side, and then slowly come back. Stretch the left arm towards the ceiling, look at your hand, and come forward again onto your left elbow. And change from this hand. Okay. And from there, we're going to come back into standing position. Bring the legs in, shake them out. We're going to hold onto our back, go into extension, looking up towards the ceiling, and then slowly coming forward and letting the spine just really loosely stretch out. Give your arms slightly. And we're going to come up again and stretch back and come forward. And let the spine really come up. And come up, shake the legs out. We're going to go back into standing position. Bring your feet next to each other, spread out the toes nicely. Distribute your weight evenly so it's not too much in the front or in the back. Both legs carry equal weight. You're going to pull in your tummy, you bend your feet slightly, your chest is nicely and open, your shoulders are back and down, chin is tucked in, you're elongating your neck by really pulling your head up as much as you can. You focus on your breathing, slowly in and slowly out and slowly in and slowly out and once more, breathe in and breathe out. So I hope you enjoyed the session, I wish you all a lovely day and hope to see you soon.